my uh, name is uh, the real name okay. Ang Khan Siwalak. The family name is Siwalak, but uh, I mean uh, in overseas they know me like my name. Who is means teacher? Toy is my name. Uh, the I mean, nickname everybody in overseas. Uh, okay, where were you born in Ray? Uh, I born uh, in Rayon, it's far from here, about, uh, far from Pattaya, about half an hour, right? Okay. But growing up in Pattaya. Uh, where and when did you learn about the sport in Muay Thai? Uh, with my father. I go grow up from uh, Sijoto. Okay. Why did you choose? You grew up around training. You grew up around these gyms. Why did you choose training as your profession? Before I work at the hotel, so nobody followed the Muay Thai. This Muay Thai is a national sport of Thai people. I have to assist my father, and uh, I need to promote Muay Thai as in my father. So I follow up. What does a, a training session typically consist of for you yeah. when you train? Is it so in, in uh, many gym, uh, they train like a power style, but in Sigyotong, we train like technique style. So we have a lot of elbow, we have spin back elbow, we have push kick, we have neck kick, low kick. This is really important, but other gym, they always use the knee to fight, but it's not, not, not not so exciting. We need like a uh, technique how to cue by neck kick, low kick, elbow, something like that. One, only one student a day, or do you have like six six guys coming in you training sessions with six so different guys a day? So before uh, you see your we have a lot of famous fam fighter, but now uh, the, they're getting old. Now we we just train the new generation. Just a lot of kids. We uh, right a lot of kids here, like ten years old, eight years old. The the older one just like uh, 14, 15 years old. I think future maybe five five more years will be getting better. Okay. Um, so, but still, how how many do you train a day uh, on average? Like five kids a day. Uh, we have a lot of trainer here right now. Yeah. So I just look around and train a day all the time. Uh, now we have uh, uh, like 20 kids. 20 kids? We have 8 trainers. 8 trainers? So yeah. Okay, about, about 2. About two but we have uh, a lot of uh, foreigners coming. Okay, so it gets busier. Yeah, it busier. Okay. Uh, looks like it's very hard catching you know, the kicks. Is it very physically demanding? Is it hard? Is it hard to uh, if you don't know, If you don't know how to hold the pad, it's, you win pen in your hand. Hurts. But if you know, because I, I train, I train Muay Thai when I was uh, uh, like uh, 12 years old. Then uh, I be a trainer more than 25 years, so I know how to save my arm. What do you think Muay Thai fighter needs? You know, what kind of attributes? Uh, head strong, body strong. So uh, now, uh, like a uh, technology of the sport is coming. Should be the body strong, heart strong, and we need more technique for the uh, Thai people because now they use only uh, power style. You can see the foreigner now they use a lot of hand, they use a lot, a lot of elbow kick. In Muay Thai now many people they just use for me. It's not not so exciting. We need need need, need Thai people. Uh, I mean Thai fighter use a lot of. Technique: Use knee, use kick, use hand, use elbow. What has changed from when you were a child to now? Uh, you know, uh, ma many factory they do the I mean equipment, and they every time uh, they got uh, the brand name, many brand name they ask the uh, ask the trainer, ask the owner of the gym. So with pet, good with the uh, equipment, it's good. How how to we we have to uh, tell them. But oh, you have to do like that. You have to do like this. Like some long times ago, uh, the pet is hard when you're born. 
Now they save inside, like put the foam, put the, the some material inside to save the hand. So it's getting better, better. Would you do the same kind of training? Would you jump on tires as it is? Uh, every day they go jogging 10, 10 kilometers, 10 k something like that. Then every morning, afternoon, uh, maybe five, five kilometers, and they train there. Uh, uh, now we we do a little bit weight training to make a uh, stronger. But okay, so ten kilometers in the morning isn't that a yeah. lot? Wouldn't you be tired? Like, I, uh, I mean, that's like that's a lot of running. You know? like, uh, if we do natural like this. Uh, when when I was the kids, it's. They train like before me also they train like this. Okay. How the point system, like how the system, point system works? Uh, the score in Muay Thai uh, in Thailand, they, they, they don't, not, not almost same the K1. The K1 just only one kick punch and kick, just go on, go on. Uh, in Muay Thai, you have, when you uh, fight with the uh, opponent, you have to try to keep the uh, hard kick and then let the uh, I mean the opponent lose control or lose balance or lose. Uh, uh, I don't know how to say in, in English. Uh, let the opponent lose energy also. Then you have to score a good point. Not only hit on the face or something like that. If you hit on the face, uh, your your opponent still keep strong, keep go fight with you. It's not so good point. You have to let. Let him lose balance or maybe lose lose the uh, control or something like that. You will get more point. Uh, uh, okay. Now, uh, what is the best way to obtain points? Is to make him lose balance. That's the best way to make him. So maybe you push kick and then when the when the opponent falling down, or maybe you hit the opponent feel feel lose balance. Uh, not keep coming. If he always keep coming, still the problem for you because now uh, the the technique and power like a hard kick or hard punch and let the, uh, your opponent falling down or maybe look like a, uh, when you punch the opponent should be like a drunk then you have a good point something like that or maybe low kick if if you make low kick. Your opponent still keep keep cool, just keep acting like nothing for him. It doesn't have a good point. You have to be kick on his leg, and then he feel feel hurt. Then point, or maybe he kick at the body on the time. But body is always a good point on the body. Something like that. If you kick, they block the point. Not coming. It should be at the body, the leg on the body. Okay. okay. Um, in Singapore. Like I know Chad. I, yeah. you know, I trained him a little bit. Right. Yeah. With Chad. And uh, I know he left to Singapore. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, why? Why did they leave to Singapore? Uh, because Singapore, they uh, now now Sing Singaporean. They they like Muay Thai because of the container of Muay Thai. Is going up last two years ago. Last two years ago, about so Singapore, Singapore like Muay Thai. So. No, no, I mean the, uh, I mean the, the contender Muay Thai. Is then Thai Thai guy. He's just that guy. He's he's the champion over there. The Singaporean. They're looking on the TV, so they say oh, Muay Thai is really dangerous. So they need to learn for the self defense for sport and for fitness. Okay. Very good. Okay. So, so there's going to be a lot more people training pretty much, right? Yes, so yes. they go over there, the trainers leave here and go to Singapore essentially to make more money, right? Yes, in Singapore they, they pay good too. Um, so yeah. you're leaving <laughs> to go to the USA. Can you go into that a little bit? Yeah, uh, you know, we have a uh, Sijia Tong in Boston, some of you. I have to go to uh, inspect how they uh, follow like a uh, uh, Sijotong style. Uh, Sijotong in Boston, uh, they open right now uh, 13 years. So I've, I've been there, 
like ten times. You have to to take care about let let him follow uh, our technique style. The owner, his uh, his name is Mark de la Gote. He's a uh, very, very right now he's a uh, number one trainer in the Muay Thai trainer in America for the UFC. Okay, so uh, do you like training in the US? Have you trained there before? Do you like it? Yeah, I, I've been there ten times, so I train many good MMA fighters. I, I like to promote Muay Thai for all my father also. Uh, I just make uh, Muay Thai together with uh, MMA about eight years ago. Um, now, um, so what, what fighters train there? What famous fighters? Uh, before we have uh, Kenny Florian, uh, Stefan Barna, uh, George Gugel. Uh, Jorge Livola, George Jorge Livola, and then uh, uh, Patrick Cote, Marcus Davis, a lot of uh, uh, good UFC fighter training in Sijiatong, Boston. Uh, is it so? You kind of touched the base on it. So it really is helpful training Muay Thai for MMA, the Muay Thai technique for MMA, standing fight. Yes, really yes, very good. Um, all right. What do you think about the Yokao equipment? This is uh, the Yokao equipment is very good idea to come to uh, Sijiatong because uh, Sijiatong is very famous name around the world. And then uh, every time when they uh, give us use about the pad or the back, so we tell them you have to fit like that to do like this or focus me almost same uh, chin pad. We know uh, how to, to, to let your car to, to fix or maybe change style a little bit. Right now it's quite be good. So I think your car will be a, a, a famous equipment later on.